Nothing like announcing a major schedule change literally at the 11th hour, but here we are today as DC fandom has officially been broken up into two parts. The first part on August 22nd, the second on September 12th. At least I'm glad somebody at WB listened and was like, hey, if we stream for 24 hours, there's a uh, 12 hour period of time, or at least 10 to 12, where people have to sleep. So how exactly are they going to be able to uh, watch everything? So they're not. They officially announced just now that it is being broken apart. So a few weeks there, but DC Fandom will be split into two, and the content is going to be redistributed all around. And honestly, I think this is a... Well, this is great in my opinion. Again, there's going to be so much coming at us, or would have been this DC fandom, that things were overlapping. Why would you want that? Like, that's not good for anybody. You're going to just step over whatever else you have. It's kind of like going to an actual comic convention, and you're like, okay, so 2 p.m. on Saturday, I got to choose between this panel, this panel, be here for this Pop Funko exclusive, or, mm, yeah, okay, I don't know what to do. Again, why would you do that with a digital event? So yeah, I, I kind of, uh, I'm happy that this is happening because again, this is a good call. This will save them for being able to build up what's next and being able to maybe, you know, plan a little bit ahead and hype up the next event instead of having just everything hit in a 24 hour period. And then some stuff might fly under the radar. Again, you can compare this to comic cons. You can compare this to video game conventions like E3, where some announcements that would be pretty big, all things considered, get buried by the big announcements. So I think this is good, in my opinion. And um, I think they're going to honestly just do better by breaking it up. <laughs> 